Hello, and welcome back. We're going to talk a little bit more about ABO blood types. Because anytime you ask someone their blood type, they not only tell you they're type A, they tell you I'm A positive, all right? Or I'm A negative, all right? Or I'm O positive, or O negative, okay? So there's a po plus and negative that go along with that, okay? The plus and minus associated with blood types is called the RH factor. Okay, the RH factor, the RH actually stands for rhesus. And what it is, is it's a blood type that was originally described in the rhesus monkey. All right, turns out we as humans also have this RH factor. Okay, it's a gene found in the human genome. And what it controls, essentially, is whether or not a tag goes on the outside of our red blood cell, OK? Now, this tag, this particular factor, RH factor, is inherited in a Mendelian fashion. So we only have two alleles. We've got, you've either got the RH factor or you lack it. Okay, but it's another tag that goes on the outside of red blood cells. So for example, if somebody is A positive, they would have that A on the outside of their red blood cell, but they would also have the RH factor. Okay, like that. So it's another tag that goes on the outside of um, the red blood cells, okay? As far as our genotypes for the RH factor, okay? Folks can be RH positive, RH positive, okay? They can be RH positive, RH negative, or they can be RH negative, RH negative, okay? So what we're talking about here, both of these, whether it's homozygous dominant or it's heterozygous, all right, you're going to have the RH factor on the red blood cells, okay? Folks who are RH negative, they don't have the tag on the outside of the red blood cell, okay? So the RH factor is inherited, inherited separately from the ABO, okay? So if you're talking about blood type inheritance, ABO and RH, talking about that inheritance, is a great example of something that's a dihybrid Oops, that's a D. Don't mind my dyslexia here. A dihybrid cross, okay? Because each individual has to carry or has to inherit an allele of ABO and they have to inherit the RH factor, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know.